Hi guys, another charity shop episode. Trying to catch up on a backlog. Um, the little train in the picture is not what I've just bought in a charity shop. But those of you who watch lots of my videos know that I do love these little clockwork wind-up toys with the clear plastic and all the gears on show so that when you wind it up by putting a key in there you can see all the gears turning as it goes along. So today when I saw this at first I thought it was another one of these but it isn't. It's built around the same principle. Lots of nice gears to see them turning. But it's electric. Need some batteries in there. We got on off. And we got forwards and reverse. Uh, it cost me, I think I paid £1.99 for it. I don't know if we can actually read the details there. Looks like it's got a speaker under there. Possibly. So, I popped into Poundland and bought some batteries because it's these size C, I think. Looks like that sort of size. Minus, minus, plus. Okay, shut, on. Not a lot happening, off. Not a lot happening. So, looks like we're going to be taking this one apart, doesn't it? How easy will that be? Well, I can see some screws in there. They look a little bit rusty. Okay, I'll have a little fiddle with it first, just in case the battery terminals need cleaning. But if that doesn't fix it, then we'll have to take it apart and have a look. I've just noticed if I move this forwards and backwards, that light comes on. So the power's getting through. But the motor's not turning. Okay, we will have to have a look. I won't bore you with the usual undoing of every screw, but I found six screws and a different one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one at the front here. So we can get the front off. Let's move these screws out of the way. Now, whether it'll just come apart. Well, I can see one problem straight away. I don't think the camera will pick it up. But I can see the gear in there, the white gear, is split. So even if the motor's turning, it's not going to do much. Alright, I wonder if it'll come apart. Or whether we have to get the wheels off the axle. I think it's going to be one of those ones we've got to get the wheels off the axles to separate it. That's going to be a pain. Yeah, I don't think we can split the body until we've separated the wheels. 
Well, that was quite a struggle. I did manage to get them off eventually. You can see the knurled section there that grips the inside of the wheel. You see that's a bit uh, roughed up where I've been jamming things in to separate them. I heated them up with a hairdryer to try and soften them and loosen them a bit. I don't know if it helped, but I did eventually manage to get them off. So we've got the wheels and axles off the front two. And I've just got the back wheel off. So we should be able to separate the halves of the bodywork. Looks like we've got to undo that one as well. There we go. So we're separated. And we can see that split gear there. And that's not going to help life. Looks to me like the motor's wet, or at least it's got white um, corrosion on it, or crystals. No idea what that bit does, unless it makes a noise. Yeah, that's probably the case, I expect that. Maybe. Right, I'll try and put the batteries back in and see if we can just see whether the motor works. I'm just holding the batteries in place. LED comes on. Oh, oh it's not an LED, a little lamp. Can't hear the motor turning. Right, well the motor unit comes out on its own. That's is that gonna come out? I have to get one of these gears off to be able to separate the motor unit. I think. I mean, to be honest, it's not going to do much with that broken gear anyway. So we've got to get that gear off to get it apart. That one unscrews. Hmm. That's all right, that's pulled off.
try and remember where all the bits go. There's our motor. I can get a battery, I can connect straight across it to check it. Nothing happening there. Lights on. Oh, it's starting to turn. Let's give it the full. You probably can't see what I'm doing now, can you? Motor's turning. Mm, a bit slow though. I suppose I could try lubricating it a bit. Let's have a look inside the motor. Well, it just looks dirty to be honest. Well, that's a bit stiff. Brushes look okay. I'll put a little bit of oil on the bearing. That sounds a lot happier. So, we've lubricated the motor. I don't know what we're going to do about that split gear though. I'll see if I can get it back together as far as I can. But that one, we're going to be a bit stuck on. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.